billed as turbulent Thursday at the A-10 tournament as the top four C's who all had double buys lost in the quarterfinals, which included the top seeded Spiders. The highest seeded team remaining in the field is fifth ranked VCU, which came into the postseason with three straight losses, but are two wins away from their second straight trip to the NCAA tournament. Lane Casadante has more from Brooklyn. For the first time since 2006, none of the top four seeds advanced to the semifinals here at the Atlantic 10 tournament. That means just like the regular season, this weekend is going to be wide open and the automatic bid to the big dance is up for grabs for any of the four remaining teams. Uh, no one's safe. It doesn't matter what your record is or your ranking coming in. Um, you know, you can be beaten. The game plan is still to just be us. Um, and obviously we'll have our strategies to defend them and, and help to our strengths. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's, the most important thing is us being us. They're a really good team. They, um, they play together. But if we go in there and we play St. Joseph basketball, um, we have all the confidence in the world. So uh, I believe in us. Most people, actually, when you take 360 plus schools, are not playing. We're one of the ones. So you're in this environment, in one of the best conferences in the country, in one of the best NBA arenas in the country, in a great city. You shouldn't be looking past anything other than just being blessed for the moment that you're in. Two things in the Rams' favor. Number one, they won the regular season meeting with St. Joe's this year, and VCU is a perfect 7-0 all-time in the Atlantic 10 semifinals as they try to become the first repeat champions of this tournament since Temple back in 2010. From the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, Lane Casadante, CBS 6 Sports.